Hey guys, it's Cam from Craft and Tailored. In this episode of What Is On My Wrist, we're talking about a 1970s Aqua Dive 1000 Caribbean. Really interesting, oversized watch. I think kind of perfect for like the summer type of time frame. I'm wearing a little bit of linen today. I've got a nice like kind of sandy NATO strap on this. Uh, really fun watch that I've been wearing a lot and uh, definitely unique and interesting piece uh, that is worthy of some time on the wrist. So. Uh, let's start talking about some details. So the Aquadive company is a really interesting company that kind of hails from the golden era of dive watches from the late 1960s into the 1970s. Matter of fact, most of the Aquadive watches were actually sold in dive shops as a piece of equipment, even though they leveraged some nice Swiss watchmaking technology and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so high-end Swiss brand, they were kind of more or less sold as a tool and or as an accessory or a gauge piece of equipment kind of at the dive shops. Uh, so kind of a really interesting piece of um, history there. But the Aquadive company has a lot of interesting watches and if you do a quick search, you'll see um, kind of some nice innovation specifically geared towards diving watches. And they're in that golden era of dive watch design from again, the late 1960s into the 1970s. So some kind of interesting designs and things that are unique to the Aqua Dive brand, but definitely kind of form meeting function, um, which is something that we really love, obviously in the tool watch era type of, you know, tool-esque type of watch. So in any case, this watch specifically uh, has a couple of unique features that um, kind of make it funky, but also really interesting from uh, horological history, David hashtag it, horological history uh, perspective. Um, the, the watch kind of reminds me of a, of a UFO um, and the watch leverages what we would call a, a Jenny triple safe case. So what's interesting about the design of, of the case is that it's called a monoclock case, meaning that the watch movement, the dial, the hands, all the stuff loads in from the front of the watch instead of having a traditional kind of uh, case back that opens up. So uh, really interesting design. And the triple safe design kind of comes from the fact that it's actually a case within a case. So if you look closely at this watch, you'll actually see a crystal underneath the sapphire crystal, which makes it a really interesting design. And the other thing too is that the depth rating on this watch is 330 feet. Uh, or 100 Atmos. So um, really impressive depth rating on, on this watch. And I think the, the reason why it has that depth rating of 3,333 feet, uh, I don't know if I said that correctly the first time, maybe I said 333 feet, but it's actually 3,333 feet, is because of this of this case design, which is really, really interesting. So again, it's, we've got this uh, mineral glass outer crystal and then we've got um, what appears to be like a superdome type of crystal inside. So it's kind of like a case within a case. And again, that's where I think the name uh, triple safe case comes from. Um, but in any case, uh, get that? In any case, triple case. The, the design of the watch is definitely rugged. It is no doubt a tool watch and um, possesses kind of some interesting you know, details. Big, chunky, oversized winding crown. The other cool thing is it does possess a quick set date function, which is great. The design of the watch actually employs some really interesting features in itself. First being that we've got this um, kind of, I, I guess you could call this Bakelite or acrylic, but we've got a luminous filled uh, outer bezel, which is really, really cool. Unidirectional, which is really, really interesting. Uh, but there is a, a, a click spring in the bezel, which is which is nice. Um, one of the other things too that's that makes this watch and the Aqua Dive series, and especially the the Caribbean One Thousands, very interesting is Aqua Dive used this material and leveraged a material called Scotchlite. So Scotchlite is a material that you'll commonly see in road markers or in. Uh, road signage and what's interesting is this one is this nice kind of Caribbean blue color but they made them in yellow I believe they made it one in orange and then I think they had one in like a dark blue or almost black coloration but there's a, a fine almost like a diamond type of particulate or reflective glass uh, rather in the scotch light so when light hits this it's actually reflective which is kind of a unique feature um, it is loomed with this kind of green tritium which you'll see in the other series as well i think our friends over at hudinki had one of these guys with a yellow scotch light 
um, which is really interesting. But um, when light hits that scotch light, similar to like a street sign, it actually becomes reflective, which is really awesome and cool for uh, visibility. In any case, uh, very interesting watch. The watch actually measures 50 millimeters, so it is chunky. But what's interesting is the, the case design is kind of soft and almost UFO-like. I really like it on these kind of two-piece Zulu-style NATO straps. On the wrist, the watch is really, really comfortable. Uh, it doesn't wear tremendously oversized. It's kind of fitting, even though it is a 50 millimeter watch. Uh, when it's on the wrist, it's actually quite comfortable. Uh, and you know, there's a presence there, but it's not overly heavy. It doesn't doesn't uh, kind of wear obscene. So I think it's kind of a nice watch for for the summer. You can definitely take this thing into the pool and into the ocean um, and kind of a unique watch altogether. So uh, unique watch wanted to kind of talk about it. I've been wearing this watch a lot and it kind of is fitting for summer, but um, really, really like this guy. I'll provide a link in the description below. And uh, also if you do a search on our website, you can see some of the other Aqua Dive uh, watches as, as well. So really interesting handset, big lollipop, high visibility kind of watch. Uh, really, really dig this one. So be sure to check out the link in the description below to check this out. As always guys, be sure to follow us on Instagram uh, at Craft and Tailored and be sure to check us out online at craftandtailored.com. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And thanks as always for tuning in guys. I'll see you in the next one.